Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a Jane Doe, and she was found June 20th, 1982, in Broward County, Florida. She could have been anywhere from 11 to 20 years old. She was estimated to be about 5 foot 6, and her date of death seemed to be, it says estimated PMI, two weeks. Um, sometimes when that says two weeks, then it shows up somewhere else, somewhere else. So I don't know if that means what I think it means. But found floating face down in a canal. Usually I think that means that they've only been dead for two weeks. But then I see something else somewhere else. So I don't know. And then there's a description of her clothes. And so I did a search. And that doesn't mean that those are the only people that were missing at the time. She may not have been reported missing or maybe it, the person who she is didn't come up in my search, but these are just the people I found in my search. And here's a photo of her. When you go here, um, it has different photos. And this one's from 2016. We'll do this one too. So, okay, so then I'm looking for missing people, and we have this one. She was missing May 20th, 1982, from Michigan, and that was just a month before she was discovered. So, she was 17 years old, Callie Marie Brown Brownlee. She was uh, 5'7", 135 pounds. She was last seen at a mall. At approximately 11 a.m., brown hair, brown eyes. At the time, she was wearing white pants and a halter top with another shirt over it and high heel shoes. And then when I go to look at her picture compared, well, let me go here because it's better to do it this way. So there's that. And... Try not to sneeze. Then we have Pat Patricia. I don't know how to pronounce that. I would say Vaughn, or but I'd probably be wrong because there's an A in between. Uh, missing date of last contact May 15, 1982, Connecticut. 18 years old, five foot five hundred twenty pounds. Her last known activity is believed to have been in Matthias, West Virginia. So I don't even know if their date that she went missing is correct. And we'll do, here's a picture of her. And she looks very similar to me in that picture. I don't know about this one, but in this one, she looks very similar. I mean, yeah. So then... We have this one, and she went missing, date of last contact, April 28th, 1982, Mobile, Alabama, 5 foot to 5 foot 10, I guess they don't know how tall she was, 20 years old, she disappeared, Robert Gilchrist was charged and found guilty of murder based on confessions made to an individual who testified against him, um, Zane is believed to have been buried in the vicinity of Todd Acres Road. Mobile County, during a retrial following an appeal, Gilchrist attempted to assist the police in 1989 to locate her remains, but they were unsuccessful. Shoulder-length brown hair. The MP and Gilchrist were in a vehicle that broke down in a rural area. The vehicle was located by the police, and personal items in the car led to Gilchrist. He had returned to the site twice, according to a witness, first to move the body further from the vehicle and second to rebury the body where it would never be found. In 1989, the police took him to the site where the vehicle was found and he attempted to locate where he had buried her, but was unsuccessful. So, and that picture looks a lot different than that one, but there's another picture of her. And then we have... Michelle Wells, and she went missing from Detroit, Michigan. She was only 13 years old. It says anywhere from 5 foot to 5 foot 5 and 100 to 200 pounds. Last seen at a residence where she was visiting. And here's a picture of her versus 
that one and this one and this one so that's what came up when I went to look for This unidentified female in a search. Anyway, if you know who this might be, please contact authorities and let them know. If you know what happened to any of these people that are missing, please contact authorities and let them know. They all have loved ones that haven't had closure, and that's very sad. Don't forget to pray for their loved ones and their family. And please feel free to leave comments, and have a great day. Bye-bye.